Hello, and welcome to my Impact HUD Tweaker tutorial. Um, it's for Counter-Strike Source. Basically, uh, what it does is tweaks the HUD. It's very simple. Um, the download link for the file is in the YouTube description on your right. If you'd like to click that, it takes you to the file front page. See, download now, all good. Um, and I've just downloaded it. So let's install it. First of all, you extract the files. I extracted them to my desktop. So there they are. Um, basically, all you need to do is run the exe. Um, put the data in there, etc. So you just run the exe. And uh, I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm going to say OK. Um, OK. Now, when this browse for folder, a um, dialog comes up. Oh, I know what that previous uh, previous box meant now it means you're gonna have to lo locate to your Counter Strike source folder, not your C Strike folder. So if we find the path to our Counter Strike source folder, Steam. Some people, some old schoolers may have Valve instead of Steam. I had it before I reinstalled. Um, then Steam apps. Then our um, username and then counter right source but just click that folder don't expand it and then we can hit OK and that's all set up um, basically you've got your interface um, languages here you're going to want to change it to English if you're American or if understand English a bit better um, yeah, and you can adjust anything. This is a very simple program, very easy to use. Um, modify all the fonts. Um, modify all the colors. See. Yeah. Um, oh, did not want to do that. That takes you clearly, as I just showed, to the impacts home site. Um, Okay, the important buttons here. <coughs> you basically, for a movie hunt, what you're going to want to do is take away everything apart from the diffuse bar. Um, so, show slash hide elements. The button there. I think I think a bit tedious. We want the diffuse bar, so let's keep that. There we go. Um, now we can change the diffuse by the length. This is just my um, my movie hut, by the way. I think it looks nice, simplistic. Uh, to modify colours, the diffuse bar colour. Yeah, um, it's always fun to make this. I don't know something fun. Um, just gives your movie a little bit of an edge of some personal taste, some some difference to all the others with stereotype orange bars, um, and the fuse bar length is always fun. <laughs> don't want a huge, don't want a tiny bit. Um, basically that's it, all you do is hit, well, you're going to want to save that HUD so you can just reload it afterwards, um, save it somewhere, just, I don't know, movie HUD. Save it, and then we can just literally open that hard every time we want. Every time we'd like to uh, use the movie yet, um, we hit apply CSS. You actualize. Okay, yeah, continue. Um, launch CSS. So, um, as you can see, there is no hard whatsoever, it's all good, it's all ready for recording, movie config in, everything's set up, perfecto, our clip's going to look great. So 
Oh uh, yeah, as you can see, that is basically it. Um, when you want to return to your normal HUD, you are just going to want to hit that re in the HUD but um, Okay, and that returns it to default. Um, I'm not sure if you want to have a custom HUD or whatever, but you can make one, and then you can just open the HUD when appropriate. Um, the thing about source is you're going to have to uh, close down source, then apply a HUD, and then open up source, and then the HUD's going to be applied. Um, if you do it when this source is open, it's uh, it's not going to work. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed my basic impact hard tweak tutorial and uh, have fun with it.